what's up guys we are going to go through this unit and airdrop right here uh and i think it's pretty much a big alpha even though there is not a lot of noise on this particular airdrop but i still believe it's still going to you know print some money for us and we've been farming this airdrop for some time right now and this is like a remake of the other video that i actually made about the airdrop and what we are actually going to do right here is just for us to go through the project what the project is all about and then i show you how you can start stacking up points for this particular airdrop and you can see right here there is no other explanation that can actually make this simpler and as you can see right here this is a layer 2 which is this which is designed for DeFi, decentralized finance and also built on super chain i think it is still under the ethereum but you can see right here this particular project is being developed by uniswap so i think one of the reasons why a lot of people are not farming this airdrop is because there is no you know stipulated amount of money you know uh, dedicated for this project but we, what we know is that uh, uniswap actually have a lot of money i think uh, the project is currently funded i think about 100 and, i think let me just check 118 million or something like that uh 118 million or something like that so i think they they have a lot of money so i'm just gonna see right here uh yes i think 118 million right here so i think that's pretty much a lot of money and that sh should tell you that this is not an any our project so with that being said let's just jump right into the airdrop and let me show you how you can start stacking up points for yourself on this airdrop so this is pretty much simple there is no dashboard task there is nothing it's just for you to complete a lot of bridging tasks pretty much simple and straightforward so what we are going to do is just for us to go ahead and claim faucet right here so this is the website where you claim faucet right here so all you need to do is just for you to log in just you know create accounts so you log in your discord and uh, not discord you got co you connect your github account right here and then you connect your wallet and once you're done with that all you need to do is just for you to select any of this right here but what we need is ethereum sepolia right here but i've claimed the ethereum sepolia right here usually you see ethereum sepolia right here so all you need to do is just for you to click on ethereum sepolia like just like, like the way i clicked on cyber sepolia right here and then you click on claim and i've actually claimed right here a few minutes ago a few hour, a few hours ago so i need to wait for 24 hours later for me to claim again so you can actually come right here and claim again and that's pretty much it is console.optimizing.io slash faucet uh, in case the links in the description are not clickable so you could actually use that and claim faucet so once you're done claiming faucet you need to add this network to your wallet manually so we are just going to go ahead and do that uh, click on this right here click on your metamask right here wallet and then you go to uh, your wallet right here click on not not here sorry click on this right here and click on add network right here so we actually need to open this uh somewhere else so we could actually okay so i'm just gonna type it so right here all you need to do on your wallet is just for you to click on this right here and then you go to click on add custom network right here and then you click on add this rpc you copy your uh, the rpc url right here is here and then you click on add right here so i'm just gonna go ahead and paste it right here and click on add right here and then i'm just gonna type uh you uni chain uni chain sepolia right here uh to like test net also so you add that and then the chain id is one three zero one right here and also the currency symbol is it right here click on it and then you could actually leave this block explorer it's not really that necessary or compulsory so all you need to do is just for you to click on save and right here you already have unichain sepolia testnet on your wallet as a network so we're just going to switch to that unichain sepolia testnet on your wallet so you can see you have it right here so what we are next going to do is just for us to go ahead and bridge it from unichain so i'm just going to go ahead and do that right now so we have we are going to be bridging from sepolia to uh, remember we you claimed sepolia it so we are just going to be bridging from sepolia to unichain testnet so i'm just going to click on agree and continue right here and click on connect wallet right here connect my mental mask right here okay so you can see right here our wallet has been connected right now so all we need to do is just for us to bridge from sepolia to unichain bridge from sepolia to unichain pretty much simple so i'm just gonna put the amount that i want to bridge right here maybe 0 0.002 i think that should be enough and we're just gonna go ahead and bridge that we are bridging six uh, that's a lot of money but then we are just going to go ahead and bridge that 
as insufficient heat for gas fee. The gas fee is 0 0.09. That's crazy. <laughs> so I think the gas fee is a lot right now. So uh, we can be able to go ahead with the bridging task. So I'm just going to try it on my other uh, you know, wallet where I have a lot of it. So to see if it's going to go ahead and work. Okay, so since this network fee, this gas fee is a lot, and we mostly claim like 0 0.1 ETH, and we're using 0 0.01 ETH to, to, <laughs> to bridge just one transaction, I think uh, the, the network fee is currently high right now. So maybe you could actually try this thing, like maybe at midnight or maybe at night. I think the network fee is usually low. So I'm just going to show you what you need to do so that you can do that later by yourself. Because I'm I'm not really to sacrifice 0 0.1 ETH for this transaction right here. So I'm just going to click on review ETH, review bridge right here, and click on continue right here. And then click I understand, I understand, I understand right here. And then click on continue right here. And then click on this start button right here. And then it will go to my wallet and then I sign. Once you sign on your wallet, you will now have to wait for three minutes for it to come right here for for it, for you to get your 0 0.001 it on your Unity and Sepolia uh, network. Pretty much simple and straightforward too. I hope the network fee is not going to be hard when you are seeing this video and watching it. So I'm just going to close this. I'm not confirming that uh, that's too much. <laughs> so once you're done with that, next thing is for you to bridge from Unichain, Sepolia, back to Sepolia. So I'm, you could actually use this, click on this button right here, and it will switch from Unichain, Sepolia to Sepolia right here. So what we want to bridge is 0 0.002 right here, and I still don't have enough gas fee right here. So I'm just going to close this right here, and yeah, just click on this one right here and you just put the amount that you want to bridge and then you click on review bridge so this actually takes about seven days for the transaction to complete so you can see right here that's the transfer time right here seven days so you're just going going to click on continue click on i understand i understand i understand again and then you click on continue and you, then you click on start right here and then you go to your wallet and sign just like on the previous one and this one does not actually take much uh, fee for transaction right here. So I'm just gonna do that and then go ahead on my wallet and sign So you can see it's actually much uh, Not really that hard. So this one the network fee is not that high. Uh, the network fee is still high too <laughs> 0 0.1 for for you to prove and for you to get your Sepolia So I think the network fee is currently very high right now and I'm just gonna close this That's pretty much what you do. You bridge you prove you get Pretty much simple and straightforward. So there's nothing really hard about this particular airdrop. You could actually use this one right here, or you could actually use this other one right here. This Unichain, this bridge.gg right here, which you could actually use. All you need to do is just for you to pre put the amount that you want to bridge right here, 0 0.002 right here, and then you click on connect your wallet first, click on your MetaMask, and then you connect wallet right here so you can be able to go ahead. So once your wallet is connected right now, all you need to do is just for you to go ahead and review the transaction right here. And the gas fee is $172, which is a lot of money. And the network fee is still high right here. So all you need to do is just click on I understand and click on confirm and then you go to your wallet and sign. But I'm not willing to sacrifice that much money for this just one transaction. The network fee is too high so i'm just gonna do this later so if the network fee is high when you are seeing this video just do it later and that's pretty much it and that's it for this video i don't really have a lot to say about that for this video so all you need to do is just for you to do this transaction as many times as possible in a day the more transactions you complete the more you stand the chance to make a lot of money off this particular airdrop. It's pretty much simple and straightforward too. I don't really have much to say about this. Just go ahead and complete as many transactions as possible and you will, be, and you will qualify for this airdrop. Pretty much simple and straightforward too. Thank you for watching this video. See you guys on the next one.